Hey guys, I hope you're okay. In today's video, I want to show you how you can mix double tracks. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, hit that notification button, drop a like, leave a comment with suggestions. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Let's get into the video. First, let me play with the track. The track is called Love is Hell and it sounds something like this. <laughs> Now I want to play you the double tracks that I have for the main vocal. We have two double tracks. One that sings the same part as the main vocal and we have a harmony. Together they sound something like this. Together with the main vocal, it sounds something like this. I really like how the track sounds. The vocals are processed. They have some EQ, they have some de some compression. This is how the main vocal sounds. So EQ compression and slight de I think. When this happens I like to bust everything together into a single vocal bus. As you can see here I have the vocal bus. I don't do that much processing on the actual tracks. On the main vocal bus I have just Pro-Q2 doing some corrective uh, EQing and a de because the vocal was really really bright and really harsh. A reverb 7 Heaven from Liquid Sonic and Primal Tap as my uh, main delay. Now let me show you the processing uh, done on the, um, this track called Spreadbox. The purpose of this track is to create some stereo depth around the main vocal. So this is how the original uh, unprocessed vocal sounded. <laughs> So we have a bunch of vocals stacked together, panned left and right, and we have this double track. I felt that this double vocal track lacks character. I've used the same um, reverb as on the main vocals. Then I have Pro-Q2 in mid-side mode, boosting some of the sides. I want to create even more stereo spread. Then I have a de -esser. I wanted the S's to be more proeminent on the main vocal lead and on the doubles not that much. As you can see I have a lot of uh, gain reduction on the de -esser. Last in the chain is this degrader plugin. I really like using it. Sample rate degrading, I'm using the beat depth and some saturation. This is what I used to add the character. I processed pretty heavy the doubles, but I have mixed the original signal with the process signal. And that's the processing done on this specific track. Now let's move to the next track that sounds something like this. That's processed and without any processing. First on the chain, Pro-Q2. Then I have this uh, effect rack from uh, Sound Toys. This is the rack where you can add every Sound Toy plugins and create like a, a nice chain. This is how the vocal sound with the effect rack from uh, Sound Toys. <laughs> It gives a nice vibe to the vocal. Next in the chain is some distortion. I've used the Fab Filter Saturn for this. Isotope Imager. I wanted the harmony to be really spread out. So I've used the Imager from Ozone with the Sterilize Engaged. 
Next is a C6. With the C6 I'm controlling around 200 Hz. This is with the processing. On their own the vocals sound a bit strange, but in context with all the vocals playing and the beat playing, it sounds really cool. Now let me show you what I did on the vocal bus. Fab filter Pro Q2 doing some corrective stuff. I had some resonant frequencies. Spiff removing some of the mouth clicks. C4. Controlling the low end and the top end, then I have CLA 2A doing some uh, light compression, I think. So around 3 dB of gain reduction, then black box HG2 to add some top end, last in the chain is C6. It's just controlling some of the frequencies with everything in place. Let me play you once again the vocals from the hook. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please subscribe, hit that notification button, drop a like, leave a comment with suggestions, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, thanks for the support and see you guys next time, cheers.